what I did there is it recorded 15 second video clip Hey everyone, this is my amazing app for my SDCE. This has everything that you need to enroll in classes at continuing education and to so save I can do that. You know, obviously I, very, I did this today. very quickly, but uh, with that software, I can I can <coughs> do a demo of my app. Hey everyone, this and, is my um, amazing app for my SDCE. It as part of my this app assets or that you what need if I also maybe want to do in some instructional videos continuing education uh, on my app. Maybe classes. my app is kind of complex. Download I today. do some instructional videos, upload them to YouTube or my website hey, or whatever, everyone, and then people this can is my see amazing my app, app for my SDCE. This so any questions on that? <clears throat> it is a bit of a setup. But all the software is free. Team Viewer on the computer and the phone? Yes, Team Viewer is to actually view the phone, and then you need Team Viewer on the phone to broadcast to the computer. All right, so now I, I did record a quick little video, so I might as well use it. I'm going to log back into my account again here, and then finally we will take the final plunges. I think Google X uh, allows you to do a video too, right? Google Chrome? Um, or what? Google Play? Google Play? Yes, yes. Google Play will also let you add a video to your store listing. So under Images and Multimedia, I've got a video. I guess if you want a copy of my video, I'll put it into the network folder. So for the full effect. Well, Amazon here will take just about any format, and most formats nowadays will work, but it wants either WMV, MPEG, MOV, FLV, AVI, MP4, and that's what Open Broadcaster created here, an MP4 file. That's a pretty standard one nowadays. So I put into the network folder, if you'd like that, I put... Um, appvid.mp4 and here on Amazon, okay, I'm going to select to upload that video if it's over 150 megabytes uh, it'll have to be uploaded in a special way this one is only about 2 megabytes 15 seconds, so here we go, I've got it. one more item here that can help me uh, entice people to download my app, so save that one more time. And so we've got all, all the green ones now, and now um, might be a good idea then to finally submit. We've got all the tabs green. We've looked at our different uh, screens. Everything's filled in. I'm going to hit submit. Yes. On that video download, I have a little black X in the upper right corner. The page is turned over. What's that? On the video itself? Well, on the uh, Amazon app page. Uh, when I download the video, Thanks. You, mean you have a nice clean button. I have a little black X in the upper right corner. Oh, it, um, I had it too. That just means remove the video. If I don't, if I actually, if it was the wrong video, I can remove it. Just like we have the X on the icons to remove the icons. All right, so after all of this time, after all of these weeks of these three classes, in, uh, I've got this here. I've submitted an app. It's not available yet. They have to review it a little bit. Usually I see it taking about 24 to 48 hours at the most. And um, the submission has been successful. And then eventually when I come back to Amazon, to my dashboard here, uh, it'll tell me your app is available and it'll give me the link and it will then show up 
actually on Amazon. If I go over to Amazon.com and search my SDCE, you will see the apps from previous classes. So these are these are versions of previous students. Everyone's doing a, their version of it from different years and such, with their own styling and everything. So this is real. This is previous students all doing a version of of your app. Now every year the app does change a little bit as new uh, new things are discovered and all of that, but the new features. But you know they did they did a, a pouch also and their own icons and everything. And free download, <coughs> free download or paid download, and you see how nice it looks when you make your own icon, so that it doesn't look like everyone else's. And you go look at it, and then you see their color schemes and everything. So again, the customization. These are real uh, results from previous semesters. Yes? When you mentioned to check the dashboard, you just log back in and then go to that dashboard tab to see if the app is still approved? Yes. Eventually, you'll, you'll log back into the dashboard and see notice for me it says, uh, I went back here, I got a notification. I've submitted it, estimated time to live before 8.30. Supposedly, this will be ready before 8.30. It is cut off, so I might say 8.30 tomorrow. They're usually pretty good about it. In fact, a couple hours. Should we submit? If you feel that everything's done, go ahead and submit. Yeah. If it's not, if you, we can still further update it and such. Mine is saying 8.30 p.m. tomorrow, April 22nd. So they're going to review it. If there's problems, you'll get an email. You'll also see it here on the dashboard. But I've actually submitted an app now. Hopefully when we come back, we'll still have a little bit more stuff to do here. But hopefully when we come back next time, we've got our, our app ready online, and you will see it on Amazon. You can show it off to your friends and family that you have a real app online. Download it and give me five stars. Because now we've got uh, an actual listing. We'll have an actual listing where your app is there. And notice, just to see here, um, for this student, when they when they filled it all in, you know, you see their icons just like we designed, and then it's the name of their project, and then it asked for your company name, and it gives you Amazon gives you here, you know, your own little screen of your apps. So that's why you want to keep using your same JKS file. That's why you want your your package ID. You know, keep it as let's say I've got net dot campus dot my SDCE. And then I make another app later, net.campos slash, you know, fit tracker. You know, every new app is still going to use this identifier. I'm that developer. I'm going to keep using that. And each one of my apps is going to use campos.jks. And inside of campos.jks, I have the alias campos. So as we've done this, that's how you're a real developer. You keep using your credentials over and over. You can make a new JKS file whenever you want, but then now you're a new developer. And technically, you can use different JKS files in the same Amazon account, but keep it consistent. If you're doing this for real in class, you know, keep using it. You're the developer now. You have a listing here. If you're just doing it fake like I did, I made up a brand new account. It's not even verified or anything, but it let me do it. Again, the barriers to entry for Android devices are uh, very low. We're going to make a version 2 of this project and then we're going to talk about uploading version 2 because we'll have we'll have our version that is available and we have new features we want to publish those and then Amazon will alert people there's a new version download now or nowadays it's auto downloads so people often have the latest version of your app and that's all because of this infrastructure of Amazon or Google yes so from version 2 to obviously change 
file. Yes, we will. Exactly, we will have to change the, the version number in the config file, which we'll do. Submit it, and then it'll see, oh, it's a new version. And then it'll push out that new version to people that have the old version. Can you still do the uh, public It's still going to be the same process where we, where we do the build, taco build Android release. And then it'll create the, the release APK, and then we'll upload the new version. Any questions so far? Okay, let's um, let's do one quick break just to shift gears, and then we will already start working on version two because you know this stuff never ends. We've uploaded version one. I've already got ideas for version two. So let's do just a short break, uh, five minutes, and when we come back, we'll uh, start to add some start to do a little work on uh, version 2. So we'll be back at 8.16. Uh,